Hello, welcome back to the Spectrasonics on this video tutorial series. Another one of the oscillator zoom pages to look at today. This time it's the harmonizer or harmonia, sorry. So we've got our standard sawtooth wave, completely initialized multi. Well, we've got the wave that we're now very familiar with. Let's turn the harmonia on and see what we get right out of the box on an initialized patch. So what we're getting there is three waves got the original, then we've got two extra oscillators. So every layer has four dedicated extra oscillators for the harmonia. And at the moment, we're just using two of them. Oscillator number one is playing the same sawtooth wave, but seven semitones higher. And the second one is playing the root, the, the standard tonic, but slightly detuned. We've got a, a detuned knob here. So let's turn number two off just for the time being, focusing on number one. There's our perfect fifth. You can see we've got level sliders for each of the four oscillators, so we'll be able to mix them together. But we also have a master mix control up at the top. So if I move this all the way to the right, we're just going to hear the raised uh, fifth. And all the way down at the bottom, got our original sawtooth. Mix those two together. Control click centers the control, and there's the mix of those two. Then we've got pan, pretty obvious. Control click, and here is where we set the um, the offset. So I'm currently set to plus seven, but you can see what the range is. And once you've chosen your primary semitone offset, then the detune gets you your 100 cents either way. So you can basically pick to a hundredth of a semitone exactly what pitch you want each one of these harmonia oscillators to be. Then we've got full wavetable control for each of the um, subsidiary oscillators as well. And can you see at the moment they all say OSC? That basically means it mirrors the parent oscillator. So whatever I've got set up here will be copied by each one of these until I tread my own path. And now this oscillator is going to play a different wavetable. And then we've got shape, symmetry and sync, just, ha just as we have with the, the primary uh, sound. Bring oscillator two back in. So this was the, the regular tone, but detuned. So that's going to fatten, thicken up the tonic. Give that a different wavetable as well. Why not? I'll have one of them. And obviously we can just keep going. A little bit of detune that way. Let's pan this stuff. Have hard pan for those two. Now, just bear in mind when you add that onto the unison effect as well, which can have any number of voices, it, it, it becomes absolutely obscene. And so too does the burden on your CPU. Just bear in mind that all of these oscillators have got to come from somewhere not the magic oscillator tree. It's your poor old CPU that's doing all this work. We've also got our little phase control up here. I still hate it just as much as I did when we were looking at the Unison page, but there it is. So five different phase offsets for you. And this entire section only works when you're in synth mode because that, that's the only time you've got access to a wavetable. But if we were operating on a sample instead, it simply grays all this stuff out, but you do still get all of your tra transposed. You know, it's still playing the perfect fifth and the octave below. Then we've got Harmonia presets. I'll just switch back to our synth sound again because it's a bit more defined, more easy to hear. So Harmonia presets, we've got a load of stuff. Let's pick a major chord plus four, plus seven. So this is going to be, if I play a C, that's going to play C, E, G, which is the major chord. Yeah. 
And again, once we've chosen our offsets, we can do whatever we want with these wavetables. So that the presets are not interfering with your wavetable options. They're changing your offsets and detunes and pan, pan control. Speaking of presets, uh, I think the wide body is quite a nice kind of default preset to work with because it gives you four oscillators, um, nicely panned and nicely detuned as well. So you just get an out of the box, nice, fat, thick, five oscillator kind of sound. I'll just turn the volume down here a little bit because five oscillators is going to be a tiny bit louder than the other stuff. Fairly meaty sound. And obviously once you've tweaked and twiddled and chosen whatever it is that you want, then you can save that as a preset. And now it's available for selection in your user section down below. So that's the Harmonia, another really, really powerful additional oscillator suite in conjunction with the Unison. Just bear, bear in mind that these two things exist and they give you really, really easy wins. This is how to make sounds sound amazing with very, very little effort indeed. Hope you found this video useful. If you did, please subscribe and you'll catch me for the next episode in which we'll deal with the last of the oscillator zoom pages, the seemingly scary granular page, but we can manage. I'll see you then. Thanks a lot.